Peace, blessings, salutations. Yurima Karama here. Real life, real talk. These are the days of our lives. So, uh, some a strange current uh, rec uh, current of events taking place, and and you know the 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 state of the world is really like it's really like in a weird state right now. So, let me tell you, this guy, this guy, uh, uh, the 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 Baton Rouge uh, from the Baton Rouge uh, uh, killings recently. Now, this guy. Uh, he checked out my YouTube videos and has reached out to me a few times. I don't know him personally, uh, but he has, you know, he has liked some of my some of my YouTube stuff and um, has reached out with some suggestions on on uh, things that we can do as far as as far as Black people are concerned to for, for wealth building and and that sort of thing. But uh, interesting current of events. So he. Uh, uh, sent out an email to to a bunch of us, Dr. Boyce Watkins being one, uh, basically that's reiterating the same thing that was on his YouTube page that uh, he wasn't affiliated with any group, none of that. And so had some news organizations inbox me like, yo, can you talk about this? I don't know this guy. So, you know, my position is that there's no real need to talk to them because I don't, I don't know him. And so uh, you know, and I get a lot of, I get a, I get a lot of stuff, a lot of inboxes from people. And I try to, I try to be as astute as possible as far as making sure I con keep in contact, especially certain people who are like, we've kind of grown together over the course of a couple of years. And so I try to make sure that I keep that, that, uh, that open, that open dialogue and open relationship so that we keep that intact. But this particular guy, Cosmos, um, I didn't know him like that, but he uh, never had anything negative to say about, about the brother. Uh, but funny thing. So I'm, I'm going through my email and, uh, now this thing in, in Baton Rouge took place on Sunday. So I'm going through my emails and because I get such a big influx of emails, uh, I don't always check because I got different email accounts, so I don't always check. So I'm going through my emails and this I I see a, a thing with his name on it, but it says manifesto. And so I've been sitting on it for a couple of days because I'm like, wow, you know, do so and this didn't have any, it doesn't, I don't know if he sent it to anybody else. I'm not sure. But this is what he has to say, and it's a manifesto, it's 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 written. It looks like it's handwritten um, and very difficult, very difficult to read. Uh, but you see the handwriting there opens up peace family. And uh, so uh, let me let me just go through this. So it starts out peace family and then it goes on. And I have to I have to make it real wide on my screen because it's very difficult to read. So it says, uh, I know. Most of you who personally know me are in disbelief to hear are in disbelief to hear from media reports that I am suspected of committing such horrendous acts of violence. You are you are thinking to yourself that this is completely uh, out of character of the man you knew who was always positive, encouraging, and wore a smile wherever he was seen. Yes, this does seem to be out of character, but I ask that you I ask that you finish reading before you make that decision. Um, I know I will be vilified by the media and police. Unfortunately, I see my actions as a necessary evil that I do not wish to partake in, nor do I enjoy partaking in, but must partake in in order to create substantial change within America's police force and judicial system. 
and I know I'm reading this slow. That's because the writing is so it's 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 a very difficult read, especially with the handwriting. But I'm I'm doing the best I can. You know, usually I talk faster, so um, and I normally I would read faster too. So anyway, I'm continuing. So right now, there is a unseen, concealed war within America's police force between good cops and bad cops. And the way and the way the current system is set up, it protects all cops, whether good or bad, right or wrong, instead of punishing bad cops and holding them accountable for their actions. And when good cops do try and stand up, speak out and point out uh, the wrongs and criminal acts of a bad cop, they get reprimanded, harassed, blackballed, or blacklisted, or all of these and more. Thus, creating a perpetual system fertile ground for bad cops to flourish, excel, and go unpunished, and go unpunished in. Therefore, I must bring the same destruction that bad cops continue to inflict upon my people, upon bad cops as well as good cops in hopes in hopes that the good cops which are the majority will be able to stand together to enact justice and punishment against bad cops because right now the police force and current judicial system is not doing so. And so this is a three-page manifesto. So that was the first page. And then the second one, uh, he goes in. Let me see. I got to get it wide again. Therefore, now, if the bad cops, if the bad cops, uh, lawmakers, and justice system and justice system leaders, I guess, uh, care about care about the I don't know what that word is uh welfare, maybe it's welfare, families, and well-being of their fellow good cops, of their fellow good cops, then they, bad cops, will quit committing criminal acts against, hmm, against melanated people and the people in general. If not, my people and the people in general, will continue to strike back against all cops until we see, until we see that bad cops are no longer protected and allowed to flourish. Now, it's important for you to know that uh, these are his words. I'm reading his manifesto. The, the, I'm, the, the, I'm just reading it. So don't take these as my words. I'm reading his manifesto. But he just happened to send it to me. Why? I don't know. But uh, And then he goes on. Uh, because until this happens, we, the people, cannot differentiate the good from the bad. Protected Protected and unpunished, bad cops forces melanated people to label 
the good cops as potential threats, a.k.a. bad cops, to the to the to the safety and well-being of our women, family, and children. Good cops, I ask that you help change this situation that we find ourselves in by starting by starting from within the force and making an impact and making an impact there for the sake of preventing future loss of life rather it be from the hand of bad cops upon melanated people or from the hand of the people upon good cops. I do not ask but order with and by the power of the people behind me for all bad cops to be punished swiftly, completely, and unhesitatingly, and for all unethical police practices and pro procedures to cease immediately. Condolences to my people and their loved ones who have been victims at the hands of bad cops for decades. And condolences to the good cops and their families as well. And special... Let me see. Special... I think it's salute. I think it's I think the word is salute. Special salute and thank you to the brave cops that have already I identified and spoke up against bad cops and racist unjust practices. Um the list of good cops include but are not limited to officer Edwin officer Edwin Raymond uh, and the and the approximate 10 other officers who are coming forward against illegal who are coming forward against illegal practices of the NYPD targeting my people unethically. Let me see. Salute to Officer Nakia Jones, Officer Joe Crystal, fellow Marine, and ex-cop Michael Wood, retired Captain Ray Lewis, former police might be chief uh norm norm stamper officer billy ray fields and officer frank serpico sorry this is taking so long it's just it's so difficult to read so this is the last page and uh, it's very short. Hang with me. And every other officer who stands up and protects and serves and upholds their oath, even if it's protecting the people from one of, even if it's protecting the people from one of their fellow officers, 
Sincerely, Love Cosmo. A salute for my people and a sacrifice for the people. Look up, get up, and don't ever give up. And so he sent this uh sent this to me and found it uh uh I mean, you know, I mean what do what do I you know, I mean what do I say? I I, I don't know, but um sounded sounded uh you know, I mean there there's there's some points in there um that obviously he felt uh felt needed to be um addressed and uh why again he sent the manifesto to me i don't have any idea i do know that we did uh we did have a back and forth uh on some on some messaging as far as uh you know because of because of the youtube videos and because of the live streams that i do and just because i'm an active member activist in the community um there was that contact but i don't i don't know him personally but that's that's the manifesto so i just wanted to share that with all and uh, hey, my name is Yurima Karama. I just give the information, spread it out. Um, so with that said, uh, catch me on my on my web page. If you want a message, you want to find out uh, booking info. I do speaking engagements. You want to uh, you know find out my uh, performance dates and locations. I will be at uh, Greenhouse Effect this this Friday, uh, the twenty second. This will be hip hop, and so my first love. And so uh, check that out if you're in the Indianapolis area. Uh, but with that said, man, these are the days of our lives. Real life, real talk. Hit me up. Uh, peace, blessing, salutations. One, I'm out.